Welcome to SharingYourPassion.com. I am Chill, and my goal is to help people create an online business, which can also be called digital or online marketing. To do so, I'll be teaching you how to create your own website using WordPress, do email automation, make online courses, add membership access, earn through affiliate marketing, and lots more. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're interested in any or all of these. Thank you. Hi, we are going to tackle the problem when your logo shrinks too small as your website is viewed in a small screen, such as a smartphone. The solution is making a change in your CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. CSS controls the way your website looks, including colors, layout, fonts, etc. It also allows your website to adapt its look to the different types of devices and sizes, such as PCs with their large screens, tablets, medium screens, and small screens, again, like smartphones. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a problem. This is our logo, and I'm going to shrink the browser to pretend it's being viewed by a smaller device, like a phone. Okay, it's still okay, it's still okay, and then boom. Okay, so that is the problem. It shrinks too small, but it's fine when it's you know this width which is I guess what a tablet might um, view this web page okay so how do we fix this let's get into our WordPress dashboard okay so what we're going to do is change the CSS but you know what we're not going to touch at all the CSS of our theme. You could do so by going to Appearance, Theme Editor, but I'm not going to touch anything. You know why? I don't want to break anything with our theme. So you're, you're even warned that doing something here can you know cause problems you, you might not um, know about, but it will show up at some point later. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything here. What I'm going to do is change, make a change in the custom CSS for my theme, which is Rise by Thrive Themes. I can change that or add some CSS here. Thrive Dashboard, go to Theme Options. In other themes, it might be a different location. So you just have to f find where you can add CSS by not touching the CSS of your theme. It's just by, you know, adding, customizing to the, the CSS of your theme. So here we are, general settings, but it's over here, style and layout settings. and this is what we're looking for custom CSS and I'm going to add code to this and this is what I'm pasting in and what's important here is if you don't understand code you don't need to un understand all this all you need to do is know the, what the value here is it's going to tell you I guess how small should we shrink your logo um, when it's viewed by a smaller screen and I'm telling it to only go down to a minimum of no a maximum of 220 pixels that's as small as it can go I guess that's my minimum but they call it max width here Okay, so let's save that. Currently, it might have been shrinking to like 100 pixels, but now I'm saying only shrink it down to a minimum of 220 pixels. Okay, so it's been saved. Now let's test it. Okay, this is the same browser where we saw it shrink to a really small size. OK. 
Okay. Now, oh no, you know what? I have to reload the code. Okay, now I can shrink it and boom. Do you see that? You can still read it. And this is probably the size of, you know, the, this is as small as it gets. In a phone, this is as, as small as the website gets, and it's still readable, right? So it only changed the size by, I don't know, let's see, about 20%. Earlier it was about 60%. So that's the way of solving that problem when your logo shrinks too much when it's viewed in a smaller screen. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and if you have other questions regarding the topic or other related topics, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. To get more information on how to use great productivity tools and learn more about how to make money online, you can pause the video and check out the description section below. To stay updated with new valuable lessons, subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you very much.